be ready 10 seconds to go start in the indian perspective this is the only valid meaning of secularism my government is unequivocally committed to this concept of secularism my colleagues and i have been nurtured in this tradition we treasure it it is by this tradition that we shall recreate the spirit which was the hallmark of the freedom struggle persons of all religions all regions and all professions were working together to create a strong confident and resurgent india as we approach the dawn of a new century and a new millennium the mission of india's national renewal beckons us all the government and the people alike as the first imperative we must restore the credibility of public life and public institutions making them once again reliable and independent pillars of state the second key is to mobilize talent at all levels from all corners of society i still remember the thrill that every indian felt 50 years ago when our country won independence every indian felt we were set on a great adventure and for a while talent of the highest order was in fact galvanized for reconstructing our country that air of excitement and that gathering up of talent is what i want to recreate my government shall reach out to talent across the country it shall strive to create a new work culture a world class working environment so that the best remain here to build our country and those who are now working elsewhere return and put their prodigious acumen to work for their country while i do not want to talk of policies and programs today there are five goals that i do want to place before you these are close to my heart and these are goals which my government shall go all out to achieve my government is determined to take steps which will help us double our food production and make india hunger free in 10 years it is indeed alarming that the per capita availability of food grains which is already abysmal has been decreasing it is a matter of grave concern my government is committed to rapid expansion and improvement of india's social infrastructure drinking water housing education healthcare and sanitation in particular we shall provide within 5 years safe drinking water to every settlement in the country drinking water availability is the urgent need for any civilization and we shall do our best in this area my government is committed to rapid to rapid expansion and improvement of india's physical infrastructure power oil petroleum and renewable sources of energy roads transport ports airports telecommunications and financial services so that these work both as engines of growth and employment generation my government shall unveil a national water policy so that no water goes waste and also our country which has always revered the sacred rivers 
clean up all its water resources my government will strive hard to make india a global information technology power specially make india one of the largest generators and exporters of software in the world within 10 years in this sacred national mission i invite the most active participation of our hard working kisans workers teachers government employees lawyers doctors engineers traders businessmen in short people in all professions we shall aim in particular at equipping the weakest sections of the society to participate in this adventure i have in mind specially members of scheduled castes and scheduled tribes and of minorities who may be poor it has been quite rightly said that many have used these sections as vote banks but they have left their real problems exactly as they were in adequate education malnutrition and the rest the counter example the one i want the country to follow is provided by the life and career of dr baba saheb bhim rao ambedkar a benevolent raja spots the sparkling talent in this little child he and others assist the child to study to struggle to excel and see the heights he scaled a good project was initiated during shri rajiv gandhi's tenure to locate the brightest children from among the poorest sections and to set up the very best schools for them like so many good ideas the scheme has languished i am particularly anxious to revive it and to multiply it 20 fold in many ways the positions of women is even more precarious and it is pivotal to our future a country cannot even be said to be progressing if one half of its population remains disadvantaged in any case it just cannot progress every study had identified female literacy female health as the keys that determine so much else doubling female literacy within 10 years vastly improving medical care for daughters and mothers protecting the self respect of women empowering them politically through reservation in parliament and state assemblies these are not just goals that my government shall work towards these are goals which i shall personally monitor another major area of focus will be restructuring of center state relations went to decentralize financial powers to the states stop